What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. Look, um, I've been watching Champion lately, man, since J Beck came back, just to see how the brother be doing. You know what I'm saying? Cause I actually want to see him do well. I'm just giving them little pointers on how things can be better if I could. Which brings me to this blog right here. Um, you need a co-host bad, brother. Those people you putting on there trying out, that's not going right. That's not going right. That's looking real crazy. And you need another co-host. You need a, a co-host bad. And if you can't get one, brother, that compliments what you bring to the table, or what you were doing with Tech Nine, brother, you better off just doing it by yourself since you're the one most people like anyway. Everybody else you're bringing on there, you're basically trying to get people to like, and they just don't got that. They just don't give you that feel, man. I mean, the personalities ain't really there. The characters ain't really there. Your cousin look really, really creepy, creeped out. Like, he never, like he never did a blog before. He'd be excited, like, oh, man, man, the cat is anything? And then, this dude got the water bottle. Through the whole re recording and taping. And it's just crackling through the whole thing. Because he's you no know, fidgety, nervous, ain't comfortable. So it's just cracking. like, And it's irritating. I'm like, dang, man. And it's like, horrible. <clears throat> he looked like he got out. Like he escaped from him. A mental institution and asylum or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> then you have the other white dude on there, the white dude who looked like DME Detroit, <laughs> who tried to, <clears throat> who looked like he he got on a, a extra extra men in black suit. <laughs> like if you unsnap the top and unbutton the shirt, a little man would come out. The face are open. <laughs> them suits be looking. Them suits be looking break dancing like on. <laughs> you know I like the people keep they uh like their head be still but they shoulder be moving. <laughs> like that's how that white dude be looking in his suit. Then they got the other brother. Yo, you had that other brother up there from Philly. He looked like he didn't took. <laughs> he looked like Dolo friend. It's <laughs> like. <clears throat> this brother, this brother take too many drinks. This brother look like he just got out of 12 step programs. <laughs> this, brother, this brother got them alcoholic Garfield eyes like man. <laughs> that, <laughs> that brother got a, what's that thing called them wire heads keeping that a whisk? What? <laughs> For real, drinking on the job and try to keep a pocket full of peppermint to cover the alcohol smell. That brother look like that brother look like an alcoholic, man. I, I know an alcoholic. <laughs> yeah, man. You you need you need you need another co-host, man. And um, because that's what made the platform good like that because you bought a different flavor as far as like um you bought a different flavor to the game as far as like you being like the college type guy then tech nine like the dude who got the common ground more relatable then you put them both together and it worked now it's like you and a lot of other corny dudes and it's like it's just saying it, it, it don't got that feel to the point you just bet off with doing it by yourself because you under you it's like you understand the show and they don't understand the show and they trying to feed off you but you could even tell doing it like it's not even working but you still got to get through it like I read all that type of stuff bro and I peep that you know what I'm saying and it's just not working man and you may not want to take my advice because you probably don't want people saying, oh, he got that from Battle Truth or 
Let me tell you something, fam. I want to see you do good. I want to see you do good. I may joke and roast, but when it comes to that real talk, fam, that's what I do. That's what I do. They don't. They ain't going to give it to you as real and raw as I'm going to give it to you. And by me being old and you young like that, fam, I'm just going to give you real game. You need to talk to T-Rex, man. He will be the perfect fit for that show. And I don't think no other candidate would be better for, for that show than him. Not Debo, not Butterfly, not Tony Bro. Well, Tony Bro got his own show then. But I'm just saying, though, he would be the perfect fit for that show. When you look at what people like the show for and what's missing from it, he would be the perfect fit. And in the um, process of that, you should be doing it by yourself until you can find some type of arrangement. But T-Rex, he do the best interviews. He keep it real for the most point. He very funny and entertaining. He understand the game. He understand the game. He real uh, 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 um, respected for the most part in the battle rap community, man. And he and, and, and he and he know he he know he understand the process, man. He understand it. I think he'll fit well in that. Now, a lot of people, man. A lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people, man. Just be trying to go out of their way to just be spiteful, like. But I don't. I'm not going to criticize nobody without given the reason and how you can better that situation. That's, that's what I do. People be trying to make it seem like I don't like you or I hate you. They, that, that's a strong word to use. Or oh, you hate. Listen, man, I don't got nothing against you. I really don't care. I just address matters and situations as they happen. People be trying to act as if they not aware of how I do things. And I've been here like <coughs> over two years now. And everybody know when I'm on a subject, I go hard. You ain't no different. Like they telling me now, oh man, why you riding on Cassidy so hard? But before it was Cassidy, oh, why you riding on Jay Black so hard? And before it was you, oh, why you riding on Tay Rock so hard? And before that, oh, why you riding on the K-Shine Geechee Gotti so hard? Oh, why you riding on the love thing so hard? Oh, why you riding on the URL thing so hard? See what I'm saying? It's no different. It's no different. And that's why even when I'm talking about things, you, let me tell you something. If none of them get it, I know you do. You understand it. You understand the game very well. I don't expect for a lot of these weirdos to get it because this battle rap community is full of a lot of off-brand weirdos. And a lot of them are jealous. And a lot of them don't have uh, women in their lives that really love them, respect them, that even look good and nice. So they go on the internet to try to seek approval and acceptance and um, from people on the internet. You understand what I'm saying? And if they feel they can reach out to me or reach out to you and you respond, that makes their day. That makes their day. And they go from one channel to the next, one channel. That's what they, they, they YouTube surface. They've been doing this stuff for a while. You get what I'm saying? Now, but you know the game. And I'm telling you this because I'm older than you, man. I'm 44 years old. You're a young brother. I don't even know if you're 30 years old yet. But here's my point of what I'm trying to tell you, young brother. T-Rex definitely would be a better fit, a perfect fit on that channel. And just because I'm saying it, don't disregard it. Because y'all want people telling you, oh, Battle Truth said that, such and such. Because actually, <clears throat> um, one of my One United people, I think that was Raheem. Raheem, I think, Raheem or Kinshiro. It, I think it was Raheem. It was one or the two. But they the one who brought it to my attention. I was like, that is true. That would be a perfect fit. As I sit there and think about it, like, yeah. And I knew what, you know, what all T-Rex bring to the table. You get what I'm saying? And um, I'm like, yeah. I don't know if he know it. But since I got a platform, I put it out there. You know what I'm saying? Now, um, again, people be trying to make it seem like 
I, I hate you and all that. You know better. You know better. I don't give a damn what they say. You know better. I don't hate you, brother. I don't hate nobody. I can't hate nobody because of who I believe in. I believe in Jesus Christ for real. I don't care what none of these clowns say. They can say what they want. I love and believe in Jesus Christ for real. <clears throat> and that's a requirement for Jesus Christ. Love people. Love your enemies. Forgive people. Because the Bible say, if you do not forgive people, God will not forgive you. Do you know what that means? And that's going to send so many people to hell. It ain't funny. That one right there. After denying Jesus Christ, that's the second biggest sin in the world, I believe. Probably sexual immorality in that one. That's the biggest one. Unforgiveness, bitterness in your heart against other people. When you do that, when you do that, and you don't forgive people and send you straight to hell. Now, it may appear like I don't forgive people or do things like that because when I push a topic, I push it till it's nothing else to push and I move on. It's covered. I cover it from every angle. You get what I'm saying? But not at all, man. That don't even make no sense. I want to see you do good, little bro. That's why I'm talking. I want to see you do good. And I know what to make that platform even better. You get what I'm saying? One thing about me that everybody know, when it comes to popping that real stuff and knowing this stuff offhand, check my track record. I know this stuff. I call it off like it's nothing. I call it off like it's nothing. I see it even before it happens. When people laugh about it, then it ends up, I'll be like, dang, truth did say that. Yeah. That's what happened when you're in the spiritual realm. God has shown you things beforehand. And that's what I'm trying to tell you, fam. That's what I'm trying to tell you, bro. You better all just doing it by yourself until you can find some something better that compliments you, somebody better that compliments you, that could um, at least... Fill those shoes, man. You know what I'm saying? And I think T-Rex is the number one best candidate for that platform. He will fit in perfectly and well. And probably even do better than Tech 9 because his personality is was bigger. I'm just keeping it real. His personality was bigger. Uh, what he do? You know, everybody knows Rex. You look at any of his interviews, what he do, and how, when that camera on, he be spazzing. But he understand the game. He know he know everything that comes with it. He know how to sell. He know how to make it work. He he know he know the ins and outs of it. He understand uh, the internet. You know what I'm saying? Plus he got a personality and his character just it's a one of a kind. You know what I'm saying? So I just see, I'm just seeing what you've been doing lately, man. You know. Them, 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 them co-hosts you've been doing that stuff ain't no fam. I mean, you know it too. You be, I be saying, I be reading your expression. You like, mm, but you got to get through it. And they looking like they don't have a clue sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Looking like they don't have a clue sometimes. So, um, I don't know, man. Man, I hope you can humble yourself. I hope you reached out and talked to that brother. And I think that thing could be big, big for you, man. Keeping it real, man. And um. Like I said, don't don't be one of these dudes that just because I said it, oh, he listened to truth. He he watched truth. Man, everybody who got common sense know you watch me. That don't even make no sense. This the damn internet. You a blogger. Just like me. We bloggers. That's it. You ain't Jay-Z, Puffy. This the battle rap community. Small little bitty community. Come on, man. This come on. That, that don't even make no sense. Cats be trying to really, really make themselves seem like they bigger than everything. Else. Another, another, and one more thing I want to say to you, brother. You, Jay Black. One more thing I want to say to you. I don't know if you have, a, I don't know if you believe in God or not, the Lord Jesus Christ, but I don't think you do. I don't think you do. Because why are you calling Loaded Lux the Lord and Savior? Why, why, why are you doing that? See, it's stuff like that. When I be having that I address that, then people are like, oh, that go to Jay Black hate. No, 
I'm saying, why, why, why would you say that though, bro? Why would you? This man is a battle rapper, battle rapper, in like a regular project neighborhood. You calling this man the Lord and Savior? Boy, I wish you brothers knew the word, but that's what I'm here for. That's breaking the third commandment. Take not the Lord, the real Lord. Take not the Lord, your God, name in vain. Stop disrespecting my name. Stop comparing me with others. Stop putting others in the same category as me. Do not say my name out of your mouth in no other way. Wait, wait, if you're not pertaining to it as being holy. Do not use my name in vain. For he who uses my name in vain, I will not hold him guiltless on the day of judgment. So you want to go to hell for loaded lux, a battle rapper? Because you took God's name that is holy and righteous, the master, the art of life, the God of all creation, and put it in the same sentence and gave it to a battle rapper. But you probably didn't know that. Now you do. So repent. Ask God to forgive you for that ignorance. And like a lot of you other brothers, y'all better be careful of who y'all praising and giving honor and worship to. These are battle rappers. Y'all calling these dudes gods. Oh, these are God. Oh, Lord and Lux, the Lord and Savior. Danny Meyer, the bar God. Knowledge to God. Be that to God. You brothers, is, do y'all know what y'all doing? And like I told y'all before. That's why battle rap was demanding a blood sacrifice in the spiritual realm because of the disrespect and blasphemy of God. I said that. I said that before it even happened. And what were the results after I said that? Bad news shot five times, surf shot five times. Another shooting took place in uh, Milwaukee, where we from. And Tech 9 killed himself. Do you understand it? Y'all still don't get it, do you? You cannot mock God like that. Because let me tell you something. Earth sits in the heavens. Earth sits in the heavens. God spoke in the heavens, which means his word governs the heavens. Whether you believe it or not, he speak one and one time only for all eternity. That word rotates and governs the heavens. So when he say, do not take my name in vain, the word governs the heavens. And when the word is being violated, then what happens is it triggers off the penalty. It triggers off the penalty. And when Satan influence his brothers to do that stuff because they don't know it's Satan talking to them. They think they came up with them ideas. They think it's them. You brothers be really believing that y'all coming up with these ideas because you don't, Satan don't talk in a movie voice like come, I mean, he don't talk like that. Satan sounds just like you. That's why he the master of deception. He sounds just like you. And that's why you think it's you that's coming up with them ideas. You think it's you that thought about that. Mm -mm. You have the power of choice. Those thoughts that come to your head, those are called the influences. And in the midst of those thoughts, you have a choice of the good or the bad. That's the power we have, the power of choice. So when we disrespect God and you blaspheme his name like they did, it demands a sacrifice in the spiritual realm of Satanism. Because that's what they do. They get mankind to go against God. Then the blood sacrifice is demanded as his requirement. 
Y'all better start studying, man. So that's my thing to you, bro. Uh, I think you should be calling T Rex or something, man. Talk to that brother, man. It'll compliment your show very well. Probably even be better, man. And um, stop calling Loaded Lux the Lord and Savior. It's only one Lord and Savior. The Bible says that I am the Lord. There is no other Savior. There is no other Lord. I'm the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Stop giving these men my names. Stop using my name as some form of disrespect, giving it to these people. I am the Lord, me and me alone. So, that's just some advice for you. Now you know the truth. Now it's on you to operate in it, man. That go for all you brothers. Stop disrespecting and blaspheming God so much. Because whether you know it or not, this is why bad things happen in your life. Because of these things like that. Your sins don't go away. The sins you did years ago, God still see them as if you just did them already. So they don't go nowhere. So when bad things happen to y'all in y'all life, because of those sins, man. Because of those sins, y'all better get rid of that stuff. It's your boy Battle Truth. Ain't my judgment lesson question. It's yours. Subscribe to Battle Truth.